Okay, how's it going, guys? In this video, I'm going to walk through this code uh, 18 for some. This problem was asked by Amazon for 15 times in the past six months. Let's dive in. We are given an array of numbers of n integers. It will return an array of all the unique quadruplets. It looks like this, and a and b and c and d are all indexes. And such that the sum of these four numbers equal to the target. And we can return the answer in any order. So let's look at some example. Um, the array that we're given is like this, and the target is zero. So we have to find all the possible quadruplets such that the sum of each one of them is equal to the target. For example, the first one, negative two, two plus negative one plus one plus two, and that's equal to zero. And for the second one, uh, negative two plus zero plus zero plus two is also equal to zero as well. So we have to find all the possible combinations uh, of four numbers such that the sum of them is equal to the target. For the second example, uh, is all the number is equal to two, and the target that we're looking at is eight. So we just we have to return a list that has uh, four tools and also there's some constraint in here i don't think this is hugely important um, we're gonna solve this problem using a four pointer method because in it, immediately you can see that if we use a uh, brute force approach and in the interview i would suggest you to uh, even discuss and, and if the interview about this uh, brute force approach, uh, we can use a uh, four for loops and then find out all the possible um, sub list, and then we can examine each one of the sub list is that equal to um, the target or not. Okay, so that that's gonna take a uh, big old n to the power of four, and we can use a four pointers method. And reduce the time complexity becomes big of n square uh, n cube. Let me show you what I mean by that. So let's say if we give given array looks like this, and then the first thing we can do we can and the target we're looking at is three. Okay. So the first thing we can do is sort this array, which pick, which takes in um, big of n log n right here. Just sort sort the original one and then we have the four pointers i and j oops i and j l and r so i and j they are anchor they're anchors and the l and j l and r is like two pointers so uh let me show you what i mean by that we first have the i and j uh, at the so the i is, is at the zero's index j at the a one index so basically the i's and the zero the first position i is at the second position with the l and r uh, which will be um, the l will be in at j plus one and r will be at the end right and we can um, sum all the numbers like uh, for example negative one zero and uh, the number at the l pointer which is one also the number at the r pointer which is six you can sum it like negative one zero one and six if the number is too large right and then we can decrease the r pointer if that number is too big we can increase the l pointer right this is where we can take the advantage of the sorted array okay we can keep doing this until the L cross over with the R, which means that we cannot find a possible solution. Otherwise, we just keep doing keep doing this until we find all the possible solutions. Um, yeah, so this is the two pointers method. And then we will use the two for loops to control the I and J respectively. And th that's, that's gonna take in N Q, uh, N, no, not N Q, N square. And then within the n square, we also have a, another for loop that manage uh, the L and R pointer. It will be a while loop, right? While they are not crossover, 
um, and then we can um, we can keep searching. So that we're gonna take in uh, big O n. So it's gonna be big O n square times big O n. So it's gonna be big O n q. Okay, and to generalize this a little bit more, if let's say if the problem was asking by five sums, so what what do we need to do? We can do uh, i j and k three anchors, and then we have a l and r pointers. So we can reduce the time complexity with a big O of uh, n to the power of four. Okay, so by doing this uh, uh this method, we can reduce the time complexity from uh, for the four sums case from the n to the power of four to n to the power of three. For five sums case, will be uh, we can reduce it from n to the power of five to n to the power of four, etc. You can generalize uh, that finding. Uh, so feel free to pause the video to try if you can uh, implement this on on code. And now I'm gonna um, walk through my solution. So first, if the given number, the length of a given number is less than or equal to three. So it's impossible to find the quadruplets. So we just return an empty list. And next thing we're gonna do is just sort it, right? Because that's the next step, the second step that we are uh, we did. Okay. So now we have the result, which is an empty list. Also, n measures the length of the numbers. So this for loops, as I discussed, I was doing. Um, Creating these two anchors, right? From i will start from zero to n minus three because we have to look at four numbers. That's why the the latest one will be uh, n minus four, n minus four, and the j can start from uh, the index after i, right? So because j is always after the i, and then so we start with i plus one all the way to n minus three. And now. Um, actually, this this line, these three lines, is optional. Uh, but on average, it's got increased the runtime a little bit. So uh, let me show you what this is doing. So we have the current max. So this is the maximum possible with the current pointer combination. So what I mean by that, and also I have the current mean. So what I mean by these two numbers. So basically, is the the number, the uh, the sum of two numbers, at the current anchors, right, i and j. Um, and then plus, so this is the biggest number possible with the current uh, L and R pointers because we're looking at the last number and also the second from the last, right? So that, and again, a reminder that this is a sorted array. That's why uh, the biggest number will be at the end, right? On the, on the far right, on the most right. That's why this is the maximum possible uh, with the current pointers combinations. And uh, the mean, the current mean will be um, the two two numbers at anchor uh, plus j plus one and j plus two. Basically, this is will be, uh, for example, the, so for example, uh, this will be the smallest, the current mean, right? And this, and this will be the current max, okay? And if the target is not in this mean and max range that means that no matter how how we search for uh, the l and r and it's impossible to find a solution because the, the target simply is not in that range and we can uh, skip the rest and then move the j pointer to the next one otherwise if the target is in the okay range we can do the following uh, which is the two pointer method right and we will uh, start with the L and R. So L will start with J plus one, and R will uh, start with uh, N minus one. So um, while the L and R pointer they are not crossing over, and we have the current sum, basically is the the sum of two numbers at the anchors, and also plus the sum at the L index, also the R index. So that's the current sum. If the current sum is smaller than the target. What we're gonna do? We're gonna move. We're gonna advance the L pointer. Otherwise, if the current sum is too big, we can decrease the ceiling, which is the R pointer, by one. Okay. Else, which means that 
um, the current sum that now is exactly equal to target means that we find uh, one uh, candidate. And also we have to check, right? If that candidate is not already in the result, we're gonna append to the result. And then after that, after we find a, a, a good solution, we're gonna uh, advance the R pointer also decrease the, the R, the L, increase the R pointer also decrease the R pointer until a case where they cross over and then we, we will do the advance the, the, the J pointer and then also the I pointer. Let's run that. So uh, for time complexity, I could emphasize this is gonna be O N Q. And for space complexity, it's gonna be uh, the only one that we need is this uh, result empty list and we keep appending. So it's gonna be a big of a number of possible combinations. So this is my solution to this problem. I hope you find this helpful. If it is, please consider like and subscribe. That will be a huge support. Thanks so much for watching. See you next one. Bye-bye.